YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, got another jacket to review and it's from our friends at Naked and Famous. It's their 13 ounce solid black selvage denim jacket. It's an absolute classic, so let's get right into it. <music> So I've been looking for a black denim jacket for quite some time. You may have seen some of the other videos I've got. I've got a faded or distressed indigo river wash type jacket. And I've also got a, a Sashiko type two as well from another company, but I don't have anything black. Everything I have is indigo. Uh, so a black one I thought was needed to slot into the wardrobe just to give kind of like a contrast in terms of outfits I can wear or more options basically. And one of the main reasons was like outfits like this. So this is a, uh, a gray sweat with a white t-shirt underneath. It just looks perfect with black. And then you have indigo jeans under it. But I wanted something that I could layer. So I didn't want a, I didn't want a black type two, type three jacket that I could only wear a t-shirt with. I wanted something that had a bit more room that I could layer, you know, a 10 ounce real McCoy's, flat, you know, um, jumper underneath or a flannel or, or so on and so forth. So I came across this one from Naked and Famous. It's on their website. It's a it's a continuous production type deal. It's not limited in any way. And the reason why I love it is it's only, it's really thin. It's 13 ounces, which I would think is quite thin in terms of a jacket. It, it actually feels quite thinner than 13 ounces. It's really, really light. Now the warp and the weft are both sulfur dyed in black. So it's gonna resist that fading for a while, but it will eventually fade. And I think it's just gonna look really, really well. When I bought this, it came, really really stiff and that surprised me for a jacket that's really thin how stiff it was when i first got it and it, to be honest with you when i first got it i was i was concerned it wasn't going to soften up and i i even uh, emailed bezad and asked him is this normal how do i you know am i supposed to wash it or whatever whatever and uh you know it's just me panicking but i have worn this and i was recently in australia for a number of weeks you may wonder why i haven't been putting any videos up i've been away and i've been wearing this on the plane while i travel my fiance has been wearing it and it's just been amazing it's got ample pockets it's softened up beautifully i'm starting to get the creases in the arms you can see there as well and it's just an all-round great jacket that is shaping up to be a, a staple in my wardrobe so let's talk about the details then so first and foremost, as I said, it's, uh, it's black, it's deep black, and that is because the warp and the weft are both sulfur dyed. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a stark, really contrasting black that will eventually uh, start to fade. Now it is 13 and a half ounces, as I said, so it's quite, quite light on the, uh, on the underhand. It's great, nice life feeling to it. Uh, it's it's woven on vintage shuttle looms with a right hand twill, so it's got that nice texture to it. It's got the red selvage ID as well. Now the really cool thing is, I guess with all these jackets these days that are being put out by a lot of the brands, they're starting to make it more modern in terms of more pockets. So obviously you have your um, kind of hidden, kind of have your hidden side pockets or your slash pockets, which most modern type 2 type 3 modified jackets will have now uh, they also have obviously the breast pockets on both sides which is handy and then a lot of them are now coming with the internal pocket so a pocket just on the inside um, on both sides that are massive you can hold anything in these so in terms of pockets you've got ample space ample um, storage areas now it's 100 percent cotton again you've got your just jet black naked and famous uh logo there as well which i really really like that it's like a cowhide leather patch cowhide leather patch that's naked and famous and that'll fade beautifully not fade that'll age beautifully i'll say uh it's already softening up uh, that was really really stiff when i got it also one of the cool things is the buttons are all kind of age so they are aluminium aluminum uh but on the the top bit here has been aged uh, to give it that black look as well, so they're not standing out. Some of the some of the jackets you see when you get something that's black or something that's distressed, sometimes they just neglect to do the buttons or, or the hardware on it and it just stands out. So these guys haven't uh, forgotten that. All of it just has that kind of like blackout look to it, which I really, really love. The stitching as well, again, all black. It's total blackout jacket, which I really, really like. So if you're, if you're looking for that, this is your jacket. You know what, when you're talking a classic jacket, you really don't have much more to say. It, it ticks every box. It's classic. It fits well. 
you've got ample space so the sleeves are long enough they're wide enough so i could uh, layer i wear a flannel under this sometimes as well uh, and then when it's done up it is quite roomy as well which i love some people might not like that some people would like to go for you know something that's really close cut to the body and kind of uh tight fitting not for me this is specifically what i was looking for something with uh, a bit of room in the body to, to layer if i had to compare the space in this and i know this is this is like a cameron <laughs> this is a cameron kind of comparison if i look at the rogue territory explorer blazer that i have which i I think I, I spoke of ages ago where it had so much room in the body and the, the sleeves were really short. This is like a better version of that in terms of um, there's a lot of room in the body to layer, uh, but the sleeves are perfect size. I love it. Um, so yeah, I can't complain. So this is retailing for around 217 to 20 USD. I think it is uh, from Naked Famous. Um, this is cut and sewn in Canada, so you could probably find it readily available from Naked and Famous in Canada, but I think they have that Tate and Yoko site as well. Uh, check that out where you can have a link to that and you can get it from, from them. Um, I really don't have any complaints about this jacket at all. Overall though, great jacket. Gonna get a lot of wear I think with uh, this Real McCoy's pullover. It's just really, really comfortable. I'm blabbing on about it, aren't I? Right. That's it guys, as I said, classic, really simple. Uh, if you did enjoy that, drop a comment down below. I'd really love to hear what kind of naked and famous products you have that I need to try. As I said, I'm new to Naked and Famous. This and the Elephant 11s are the only two things I've got. I know you guys love them to death. So let me know in the comments what I should look at next. I know they've got loads of different kind of jeans, but I'm, I'm interested to try every kind of product that they put out now that I uh, know where to get it from. So let me know in the comments down below. Hit the thumbs up as well. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, and I know there's like 80% of you people that haven't subscribed to this channel, just hit the red button because it helps me out massively. Honestly, it's nothing out of your day, but it really helps me uh, a great deal. Uh, with all that being said, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.